What's going on guys? Uh, in this video I'm going to be reviewing uh, Throne Mesh and Goalie Mesh, both the 20 diamond and 12 diamond. Um, both of them have the same qualities as regular uh, like player Throne Mesh, so uh, check out my review on that. Uh, just like in summary, they're uh, waterproof, uh, break in really fast, and hold their shape. Um, I'll start with the 12 diamond. This is the one that um, is on my gamer. So I used this in my game last night. It performed great. Uh, if you're a fan of 12 diamond, I would definitely pick this up. It breaks in extremely fast. Um, it was about a an hour, I would say, of wall ball before it got completely broken in. And that's just like a lot faster than any other 12 diamond I've ever used. Um, it's pretty soft, so it's good for like rebounds and stuff. Uh, I would show you with the ball, but it's got really good hold for like fakes. So if you're like a goalie that does a lot of fakes or come out comes out of the crease a lot, um, you're gonna want to go with 12 diamond. This is just my opinion, but both of them are excellent meshes. Um, they just cater to different needs, but. I feel like anyone can use them. I prefer 20 diamond usually, so I think I'm going to get that next for this. But this one is just great. Uh, when it broke in, it also gained a lot of whip. So I had to change up the shooting string setup. But uh, no big deal. So overall, I really like the uh, 12 diamond. I usually hate 12 diamond. Uh, I never liked it. But throwing mash is something different. So in like overall summary of 12 diamond, breaks in really fast, um, great hold, very easy to string, um, good for rebounds, uh, really good for like fakes and stuff, you just like do crazy fakes with it, and um, doesn't have like a really smooth release, but it comes out really nice, it throws really good, so I would definitely recommend 12 diamond throne mesh. If you're a fan of 12 diamond, and even if you aren't a fan, I would still pick some up. So that's that. And next, I'm going to talk about the 20 diamond. Um, I haven't used this in a game yet, but it's basically waterproof, easy to break in regular 12 di uh, 20 diamond. So it mimics all the qualities of that. So it's got a really smooth release, um, good for like outlet passes and really long clears. Um, that's kind of like more of what I do, I guess. But it's completely broken in and I've only thrown with it for like 20 minutes. So that's definitely a good quality. Um, I haven't used this in the rain yet. It's like thundering right now, but it's not raining. So um, if, it's kind of weird, but anyways. <laughs> Yeah, a little thirsty. So anyways, uh, this is excellent mesh. If you're a fan of regular 17 diamond, um, basically it's, well, it is the exact same diamond size, except there's just three more added. So it's easier to get a good uh, depth of a pocket and you don't have to do the open sidewalls, uh, which is why I like 20 diamond. And then it gives you the same smooth release that's excellent for long clears and outlet passes. Uh, the hold on it isn't as good as the 12 diamond, so I don't know. I'll probably just stick to both, kind of, I guess. But this one, um, it didn't have as much whip as the other one, so I had to restring it because I like my gamer and my backup to be like the same. Uh, so, but overall, both of them are excellent mes meshes. Um, if you like 20 diamond or 17 diamond over 12 diamond. Uh, pick up the 20 diamond, definitely. Uh, in summary, I guess, they're both very easy to break in. Um, they hold their shape, like where the pocket is. And super easy to string. Oh, something else I want to touch on. Um, I've heard some people say that the dyed part is harder than the, uh, the white part. That's true to an extent. It's like a little bit harder. But I actually think that's better 
at the top because people always say keep it tight up top to get like a good channel and stuff. And since this stuff is a little bit harder, it makes it just a little bit easier to keep it tight. So um, that's what I kind of think about the dyed part. Overall, they look really good. Um, I would definitely recommend these to anybody who plays goalie. Uh, like I said, if you like long passes, uh, long outlet passes, go with the 20 diamond. If you're more of like, kind of like a Brett Cleaner-ish and just like to come out of the goal a lot, um, go with the 12 diamond. Uh, both of them I, are excellent though, so you can't go wrong with either one. Um, I probably haven't covered everything about them, so if you have a question about the mesh, uh, just leave a comment and I'll try my best to answer it. And um, yeah, that's what's going on guys. That is my review of Throne Mesh, Goalie Mesh. Uh, definitely an excellent product. Um, go and check it out if you like. If you just go and get a piece pretty much. So uh, thanks for watching guys. Take care. Have a nice day and uh, be safe.